So calculating centripetal force. So the equation for centripetal force um, is, so it's F equals M V squared over R. All right, let's go over what each of these different variables mean. So F, in this case, so we're talking about force, all right? And it, for centripetal force, the so centripetal force is the, um, the inward force that an object that's spinning or going around a curve feels that keeps it spinning rather than going straight. Um, so you can think about this. So let's say there's, we've got like, you know, a ball and a string, all right? And then there's like a rope here, and this is like, let's say this is like somebody's hand, okay, person. All right, and they're swinging this, this ball and the string. Um, the centripetal force is the force that pulls this ball or whatever object is swinging towards um, the center of the circle or the center of whatever it's, it's turning around. Um, and, and centripetal force, so force is measured in, and you already know this, Newtons. All right? So the next variable we have here is M, and so M stands for the mass of the object. That's the mass of the object that's swinging, and mass is measured in kilograms. All right, so velocity is the next thing we're going to look at, and V equals velocity. And that's usually, what you're looking at how fast um, this thing is spinning, so how fast it's moving. And velocity, we're usually going to see it, see it measured in most of the problems we do in meters per second. Okay? Um, and then the last variable we have here is R, and R is the radius. R-A-D-I-U-S. Okay? And the radius is actually the distance, so I'll show you on a circle here. So I'm going to draw a little circle. Okay, the radius is the distance from the center of a circle out to the end. Okay? So this right here is the radius, this area in here. And radius is going to be measured most commonly, we're going to see it in meters.